talking about you guys. How can they tell if, if they're talking about the, you know, y you or Pac-Man tea? And he's like, I think people just say like, Pac-Man no tea or yeah, Lake yeah. no tea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, all right, so that's there's, what we do. There's another really funny <laughs> thing. Uh, they always team in doubles, right? Oh. So. Oh god. Yeah, I had to commentate their doubles match. Oh no! So you just got to say the character. Yeah. You just got to be like, oh, Lake is yeah, blah blah yeah. blah. All right, yeah. going right yeah. into it. Fox versus Duck Hunt. Yeah. So. Uh, for, for all I know, yeah. this is the first time uh, Light and Right so I've ever played in Ultimate. Oh, oh so, but they played in uh, in 4. I think so. Okay. But uh, yeah, so I'm really curious how this is going to go. Off, off the bat, I just think Fox is a really strong rushdown character. And yeah. uh, Duck Hunt just has really poor defensive options, especially when he's trying to land. Right. So whenever he's in disadvantage, I'm just looking for Light to just juggle him to the heavens. But uh, Shark him, yeah. Yeah, yeah. getting in on Raito, is, that, that's the real problem a lot of times. Right, right, right. And it seems like he's also kind of content to play the laser game because obviously, like, you know, you can't rely on lasers in a lot of matchups, but in a matchup like this, like, you're, it's faster than everything Duck Hunt can do. Even yeah. though Duck Hunt has the better, like, traditional projectiles. I think the laser also uh, stops the, deals with the, the can as well. So that's why it's using it so much right now. Right, right, right. Yeah, it seems like it could definitely uh, work out from that perspective. And he's got the shine if he needs to reflect stuff too, right? Yeah. So, yeah, it does feel like Fox is a lot of, ooh, the can applying extra damage, unfortunately. But Raito, his combos are so nasty off the projectiles. It feels like he always has the can, like, exactly where he needs it to be to, like, get a follow-up. Yeah, exactly. It's what makes him uh, pretty much the best duck hunt uncontested. Yeah. It, it's kind of crazy, too, because there's no other, like, duck hunt playing at this level. Right. So whenever you you have, like, Playing a duck in a tournament, you're, you're going against like the best representative of the character. Right. Yeah. It doesn't feel like this is easy to prepare for because he can always bring some tricks to the table that no one else is really able to do. I mean, I, I wouldn't even know who the second best duck head is. So, oh, wow. Very clutch up smash out of shield. Yeah. It wasn't like a. It wasn't like oh, you hit my shield now I'm up smashing. That was just like a raw like. I think you're gonna continue running at me. So it's pretty much just a read. Yeah. I like it so so much. Dude. Right. And that's kind of the. Uh, you know, the way Fox operates is if you can get those up smashes, you can take stocks at really, really nice low percents. But that's going to tie it up. Yeah, uh, Light not really able to build in his lead that much. I, I wonder if this is uh, difficult for him just because this is like the anti-Light plays dog. Cause he's so aggressive, right? Right. But he's going against a character that just doesn't let him really play that way. Right. Yeah, so far, this is working out pretty well for Light. And yeah, oh, the reverse can. All right. Always good to have those beauty reverse options for like when uh you know especially when a character like Fox is trying to shark you from below. Maybe calling the platform a little bit here. Yeah, well, these guys are not really trying to commit to anything. It's just showing a lot of respect to each other. Yeah, it kind of feels like it's like Raito sets up, Light tries to like wait out the setup, and then they kind of in between like after a can explodes, then he'll go in, yeah. and then like per the result of that engagement, then they'll kind of follow up and chase off of that. Ooh, Ooh, another, another one. really weird. Yeah. Yeah. No, normally, you don't want to see a like duck hunt just jumping in on people like that because he just doesn't have like the best aerials for that. So uh, yeah, rido has got to be real careful in that situation. The flight's right. not scared to roll the trigger on the up smash, but there it is. The can taking another stock. Yep. Ooh. Trying to hunt the can, kind of uh, making forcing Rido to or light to back off there. Well, something I noticed from Rado too is uh, he sets up his projectiles in a way to like force you to jump over them, and he's like trying to curve that with an aerial as well. Right. Yeah, he's like willing to fight basically. He's like not just backing off. Kind of like he'll like set up and then kind of try to intercept you, as opposed to like set up and then try to like back off or run away. Yeah. Because he knows like you know light's gonna get in eventually. Ooh, Ooh. the gun into the up air. Oh, light wasn't ready for that F smash. Yeah. Okay, how's he gonna mix up his recovery here? Oh! What was that? Yeah, I don't know who that was from Raido. That was a free punish from that air dash from Light. Yeah. All right, look, Light looking for a back air here. Oh, the oh, can. The can yeah. yeah, the can basically says, give me all the oh. stage back, but oh my goodness, this time getting the hit confirmed to the up smash. Yeah. All three stocks taken by that good old fashioned up smash. And right around 100% too, like. Right around the, the like the minimum percent where it'll kill, mm -hmm. which is like exactly what you're looking for if you're light. Nice. I mean, yeah, I'm I'm really impressed with how Light's approaching this matchup because I know that like matchups like this, he does not like to play. Like he'd rather have nothing in between you and him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah it's a. This it just kind of shows that Light's getting more like well-rounded as a player, you know. Right. Just not right. just 
going for that hyper aggression all the time, just changing his play style based on the matchup and the player he's going to This is already probably more lasers than I've seen him shoot yeah. <laughs> in some tournaments yeah. combined. So, um, <laughs> yeah, no, this is this is good. And also, I mean, the, kind of the cool thing is with the, the way he's confirming into these up smashers or the way he's just kind of getting them off reads, there actually hasn't been a lot of like the traditional Nair up smash kind of, you know what I mean? Like yeah. he's kind of be having to be a little bit creative. Uh, finding his way in with some of these uh, approaches. Yeah, I just feel with, with Fox getting the kill in this game, uh, you had to be creative, really, just because it's so easy to just hold shield against at high percent. Right. And he doesn't have a kill throw, so it makes it a really strong option. Yeah. Yeah, Light is just chilling with the, uh, the gun right now. Not really trying to run into all these projectiles from right, right so, but oh. Ooh. Yeah, gotta be careful with that cannon. It is around frame one. Oh. oh my goodness, the clay pigeon to the back area. You gotta be ready for those follow-ups from Raito. That's right. Now let's see what Rao can do. This is uh, the first time he's actually had a stock lead. And uh, normally when you have like a zoning character like this, that's that's exactly what you want. Yeah, right now he's kind of going in though, man. Yeah. Like, you know, you'd expect him to be able to hang back now, but he's actually, he's scrapping, dude. He's yeah. jumping in. <laughs> actually, he said light one. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like it though. Yeah, it's, I like it. It's too. like uh, building Ooh. on your momentum. Right, right, right. And kind of keep yourself unpredictable too, yeah. especially for uh, for someone like Light. Okay. Yeah, that the way he like you know covers multiple options. Like he'll put the can low, right? And then you saw me go for the jump read with the up air, yeah. so he can kind of cover. Like Light had to thread the needle in between those. All right, but a follow up right here from the dab log. Not sure if he uh, wanted that up smash. Might right. might have been a misinput there. Nice, that's a good trade for Lightbow. Oh, you yeah, gotta watch that can though. He's trying to uh, brute force his way in on Raito. Uh, and and again. <laughs> not the strategy you want to go for. Right. Especially when he has that can right in front of him. Oh, oh no up smash after that. Yeah. Again, Raito, and even when he has like this lead, he's just not afraid to get right in Light's face and make all these uh, big plays happen. Yeah. That might be throwing Light off too, because he might be just expecting Kill like Duck and just hang back, but uh, Raito's not afraid to box. Saw the trapping with the Nair right now. Oh, good jump. And that time he didn't let the can kind of chase him off. He kind of realized, okay, it's like a little bit past me. I can probably hold my ground. Yep. Yeah, good stage awareness there from Light. Oh, dang. And yeah, Duck Hunt Dog's aerials definitely cover a lot of room on those side platforms too, like with the PS2 layout. Yeah, I think Light wants to use the platforms to just oh. not deal with the projectiles on the ground, but Raito's covering that really well. Oh, yeah. Right there. Raito looking for a confirmed enough smash of his own. Ooh, okay, this is a big chance for Light here. Yep. Doing a really good job of bringing this back. Playing around the, the can really intelligently, too. Oh, it's a rough trade, though. Watch the can. <laughs> oh, oh caught the jump. But luckily, yeah. that up air is not super strong, so he's going to hang on just a little bit longer. Right. But the next big hit from Raito should do it. That's right, and that can is going to be super duper threatening. You see Raito wanting to really play around it. Oh man, Light's yep. playing so careful right now. He's not trying to do any risky jumps. He's yeah. blown up by anything right now. Yeah, dude. Oh, oh, he got crossed up. Oh my god, <laughs> he rolled the can. right into it. Oh, no, not quite. He got past it. This is Ted's super oh. important game two right now. That not going to kill. Forgot the gun. Oh. oh my god. For a second, I thought maybe the up smash connected. <laughs> Dude, that was an insane whiff punish from yeah, that right Yeah, it really side. was. He was like spaced right outside of it. And to react to the whiffed up smash too immediately, the F tilt, that was, that was clean. Yeah. I, I don't even think it was like a reaction. I think it was just like a, because they, they both kind of let it rip at the same time. It was like a, just kind of positional awareness, I guess. That was, that was really scary for Raito at the end, though. Yeah. Light was actually bringing that all the way back. Yeah, to have that Fox up smash, like, inches from your face. Um, and, yeah, you can see in those situations how much the can really comes into play in the neutral because he can put it in the middle of the stage, right? And he can play around it in such a way that, okay, if Light wants to come in with an air, he's going to hit the can. Yeah. And it's going to detonate, and he's not going to get the follow-up. So uh, that definitely seems like a really nice boon that uh, Duncan has those high pressure situations. Yeah, it's really interesting because that's normally how you see a lot of foxes start their offense, right? right. With like those falling nares, but like with the can in the right spot, you can't really abuse that as right. much as you want to. Yeah, you gotta get clever with it. Oof. 
And when he reflects the can, right, does Duck Hunt lose control of it so it just falls? Right. Yeah, he, uh, the person who hits the can actually gets to control which direction it goes until Duck Hunt hits it back. Okay. Oh man, this is really, really rough right now for Wright. So he's trying to relieve some of this pressure from Light, but Light's not backing off at all. Has him pinned at the ledge too. Oh, that was like the easiest up smash there, but Light not going for it. Yeah, he just kind of jumped. All right, shield poke here. Mm -hmm. Oh, watch the can though. Oof. Yeah, Wright was gonna chill Oof. right behind yeah. him. <laughs> Almost like taunting him, like what, come at me. Oh, no, that's oh. invincibility here. It should be a free down smash. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I definitely did not want to uh, re-grab. just wanted to get back on the ledge, but Light's going to give you any free stock you give to him there. Yeah, that was pretty much checkmate, especially with the recovery of uh, Duck Hunt. Yeah. It's not like you can go around the ledge. Smart. Yeah, yeah. fourth throw recognizes I, I can't get anything else. Yeah, Light's, again, just playing around the can really well, especially when he has a, a lead like this. Right. Ooh, held down slightly to get the Ooh. hit of the up B, and we're still living. Still living. Ooh. Oh! Did he get extended hitbox from his dare from yeah, hitting the can? And I feel like I saw an unteckable flash, but I don't know if that was my imagination. One way or the other. That was in the same play from, yeah. from Rido. Really good edge guarding. Reflects the okay. Trying to bait Rido to come up there and with a, get him with a forward smash. Clean, but not gonna KO. Oh, oh. oh great tech from, yeah. from Rido. That was his Super life. Important. Living that fox back air, not the strongest actually. Yeah, and this is it's nice for okay. Wow. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> right I almost went in the store, but the can. Dude, you apply so much pressure at the ledge that you just force him to follow his own can to mind. He's like, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm out. This is too much. I'll see you next time. Again, life's just not afraid to just chill, hang back. This is where he wants to be, yeah. This is, uh, you know, the more damage you can get with this with this stock advantage. And Raito has been, you know, having a little bit of a harder time taking the stocks at low percents. Like, he usually has to get you to that 140-ish range before his common kills. Yes, yeah, still not going to get KO'd. Oh, oh, oh wow, nice swing from, from Light. Yeah. And 71 damage now, 73. Ooh. Nice, just weaving in and out around the can, all the uh, projectile traps from right, so yes. making it really hard to be hit right now. Yeah, it feels like he's really got a got a feel on the kind of the new. Ooh, oh my god! It. Okay, so uh, thing about the uh, the gunman like that, when he does the animation, he actually has so much lag. So if you're in the right spot and you see that move come out before the hitbox is even active, you can just run up and hit him. Especially when you have the speed yeah. of a character like Fox, you can run often further than they're ready for yeah. in the blink of an eye. Clean stuff from Light. One game away from uh, sending Wright to the loser's bracket, but uh, we've we seen Wright to adapt when he lost the first game. Yeah, so, the same way. Uh, let's see. I can I can definitely see this going in game five. Right. It's um, <laughs> it's basically going to come down to, like, you know, can Raito kind of mix up the way he plays defense, or is he going to be able to take it? I mean, we saw spurts of him actually playing really aggressive himself, uh, and that might be a good way to kind of mitigate the way Light kind of handled the second part of that game. Yeah, just first stock just seems so crucial in, in this set so far. Yeah. Yeah, really lets you play your game. All right, so Raito here. Ooh, wow, it's just dash attacking across the stage. Yeah, the way he lasers the can when it's coming in. Oh! Yep, you can follow up at low percents with the uh, Clay Pigeon. Fair bit of damage. Nice. I like the can there to limit where Light could uh, land on the ground. Right. Just forcing him to go exactly where he wants him to. Yeah, Light's still able to kind of fast fall air dodge his way down. Fox is like fall speed making him pretty hard to shard from that perspective. Nice. Yeah. The can being right there at roll distance yep. made it actually really safe for him to get off the ledge there. Yeah, you make it feel like, uh, you know, you just kind of have to give him that option. Okay, these are some uh, rough trades right now for Raito. He's trying to get this stock, but Light in a position to take his first. Oh, hey, there you go. Great catch, yeah. Nice. Again, the kind of like fear factor where, you know, you're making Light want to recover high because you've got all these projectiles uh, to control the low zone. Building up damage really fast. 
Yeah, that upper pressure, man. Catching it coming down. Light can't reach the ground. Oh, man. He's trying to, again, he's trying to force his way in because he's behind right now, but just finding ah! himself ready into oh, every projectile. Wow. He baited out the like the entirety of that air dodge. Oh, my this gosh. is so much this damage. Is so much pressure here from the projectiles. Again, he's using the can to force light to drift exactly where he wants him. And before he can even touch the ground, he has the up air right for him. Mm -hmm. Two stocks taken. And that was just pretty much a whirlwind of momentum for Raito. So, yeah, know, this he's is in a really like, good spot now. Mm -hmm. Oh. Raito's living. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> he not only did he get that to kill, but he like juked around the can as well. Yeah, that's the kind of, I mean, if he wants to like take this game, he's definitely gonna need to be making plays like that. Alright, so a bit of an opportunity here. Yeah, Raito's just gonna drift off stage, go to the ledge. Jab for the ledge trap. Oh, yeah, that's the first time I've seen uh, like it hit by the can in that situation. Normally, just reflecting it every time. But right, I wonder if that was what he was going for. In fact, okay, yeah. Oh, wasn't ready for the clay vision. Oh, nice tech. Yeah. But if he missed that, that was that was pretty much dead. Yeah, that up smash really strong. Okay, oh. try to cover the ledge there. That could work on a character like Duck Hunt that basically has to take that angle. All right, light working on this comeback. Ooh, very close to getting this stock right now. Oh, Ooh. nice. Baiting him there with the movement, calling out the jump and catching that clean back air. Yeah. 83% is actually not too bad. It yeah. just can like it in. Right. You can get so much damage, but just these wall projectiles just proving to be very difficult to deal with right now. Yeah, a real nuisance. If he can maybe catch him uh, as he's setting up the gunman, but Raito's been really careful about that. Okay, here's some damage. Trying to catch maybe an air dodge down or an aerial with that oh, shield. Yep. It's oh. a free hit. Oh, he got a can out. But again, 122 to 78 now. Not not uh, out of the realm of possibility. This could be a three-star oh coming, but no. God. I think, <laughs> I think Light uh, got caught in his initial dash. And you can't cancel your initial dash with shield in this game. So right. if you get caught doing that, you just get hit by a lot of things. By whatever, yeah. yeah. You pretty much would have to, like, I mean, you could jump out, but even then, right? Yeah. Depends how much, uh, how high you can get off the ground. I think Ken still could have pretty much just hit him. All right, game five between these two. And this has actually been, uh, as <laughs> thus far, this has just been Stadium 2 back and forth. So. Yeah. There's a, I don't think there's DSR in this stage, a real set anyway, so a lot of people just run back. I mean, the way these guys like this stage, it feels like they're just gentlemaning to it anyway. So, uh, yeah, this could be game five, five games set on PS2. That's yeah. pretty surprising, actually, because normally I see Light counterpick in Battlefield and Kalos quite a bit, but you must like it really uh, a lot in this matchup. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, and it feels like the side platforms are actually really good for Raito, because like Raito can use them to set up, and then like the up air covers the, the, the platforms very cleanly because of how narrow they are. Yeah. But, I mean, at the same time, right, you've got, you know, lower lower ceiling than on some of those other stages, like especially Kalos, yeah. so that could be uh, something that works to Fox's advantage. Yeah, he's, he wants to bank on those uh, earlier kills with the up smash for sure. Yeah, you see Raito, like how, how ready he is to look for up airs, because uh, he had the can covering the roll. The light staying resolute. Oh, <laughs> dude, the shine on the gunman actually does so much damage. Because it increases the damage of the, uh, the projectile, right? Yeah. So. Right, nice AP up into the throw. Ooh, going for a cheeky uh, illusion there. Yeah, could catch like neutral air dodge. <laughs> Get that cat out of here. Wow. He was inches away from that hitting. Yeah, it was actually misspaced because it didn't even hit the, the, the it didn't even hit the shield. All right, that's a good trade for light. Oh, still not enough though. Yeah. But he's in a good position to edge guard here. Yeah. He, he, oh. Wow. Okay. Man. Yeah. Right. was able, able to just get the can out, and make him back off. There's the shine. Oh, man. Swinging the nair before Light can throw out the up air. And this is suddenly a position for Raito to get the first stock. Oh, nice. Oh, drift. Yeah. Raito got really greedy there for the juggle. But uh, Light, really good position to steal that back air. Oh, my God. The, <laughs> the reflected uh, gunman did almost 20%. It's crazy. <laughs> okay, let's see what Light can do. Yep. Run away with the mix here a little bit. But That's the clay pigeon to the fair is still not enough to kill even at the side of the stage. It's yeah. crazy. But oh. This is a, oh, wow, what angle. Yeah. I don't think Ryan was expecting that. He um yeah, I mean he threw out a F-toe, but he was just a moment too late. Let's trap situation. Yeah, it's so hard to get past the nair, especially with the jab and play as well, and the cans all the way on the other side of the stage. Yep. Wow. Still living here. 80% on Raito still yet to take this first stock, Ooh. but there's the near up smash with the max rage. Wow. Already a really strong kill option, but 
the added uh, knockback from the Rage is making that even sweeter for Light. Yeah. Finally going to drop that first stock, but as long as he still has a stock advantage, this is firmly in his favor here. That's right. Brado has to do quite a bit to make this comeback happen. Yeah, and it feels like the kind of matchup where, like, if Fox wants to play, if he wants to hang back, uh, you know, he's going to be able to dictate the pace. Oh, but that was a great approach. Did a lot of damage, too. Can't explosion into the forward throw. Raito here. Nope. Dang, don't punish on the jabs on shield. Oh, man. Triple up air. So much oh. percent. Oh. oh. Barely gets that clay uh, shot put out. And here is... Uh, uh, yeah, Light is just not uh, having any uh, play with these projectiles. Yeah, he's jumping over them over and over. The way he's like kind of alternating between going all the way in and all the way out, making it difficult for Raito to kind of know what style he's even be playing. There's an upper, but it's not going to KO yet. Oh, oh, wow. OK, it's the second one. Light kind of drifting back towards the platform there. I was going to call that out, but still uh, very, very close to dying. And Light at the perfect position on stage to seal up the stock. Oh. Yeah, you know Light wants that back here. It will definitely oh KO. Goodness. That's not going to do it yet. That's a really bad trade for Raito in this situation. Yeah. Using the can to force Light to back off. Raito's trying his best to just hang on as best he can. Yeah. And Light's got him at the ledge again. Kicks the can away, looking for a jump or a roll. What's he going to get? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> the reflected gunman shot of all the ways to end the set. Oh, man. Great stuff to light, dude. Wow. I'm, again, I'm so impressed how well he's able to play these, like, zoning matchups yeah. where he doesn't get